Hi, I'm Melissa Demitas with Fabletics TV, and today I'm going to show you how to work your way into a handstand. So let's start off in downward dog. Coming all the way down, this is your basic position. You want to get used to being on your hands. You want to get used to leaning those shoulders over without feeling like you're falling. So this is a great position to start off with. But if you're ready to move on, I want you to lift one of your legs up. We're going to start with our right leg, but I want to make sure that you do it on both legs just so you feel which leg is more powerful. Now you're just going to kick up to handstand. You're just going to kick up as far as you can go. You're really going to drive the back leg up. This leg is a leg that's lifting you up as high as you can. You're going to take it as far as you can. Even if you're barely off the ground, you're just getting used to that motion. Now let's switch legs. Same thing, keeping that leg bent, you're going to drive that back leg as high as you can. So you want to lift up and lift up. Now I want you to do this five times. Lift up, two more. And last one. Good job. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like to kick up from here, but you don't have to do this. It really drives that back leg up. Now take it right back down. Good job. Coming back to downward dog. You can take a rest here, but I'm going to move right into the next position. You're going to bend your knees and you're going to jump up. Jump. You can keep your knees nice and softly bent. Lift up. Now you're going to get used to leaning over. You may feel like you may fall over. So what's going to keep you from falling over is you're going to keep your toes pointed down. So keep your toes down. That means keeping your knees into your chest because if you don't, you're gonna bring those knees over and you may feel like you fall, you may fall over. So basic beginner move, keeping those knees into your chest, toes are pointed down, one more. So a lot of people come to me and ask, how do you not fall over? I'm too scared to fall over. So that's where the wall comes in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your hands down by the wall and you're gonna check where your head is. Now this is too close because you can't kick up if your head is in the way. So you're gonna scoot your hands back, but it's a slight, it's a slight move back. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift that leg up and you're gonna duck your head in between your arms. So you wanna really drive that leg up. And if you don't hit it, that means you have to drive a little more. So kick it up. And don't be afraid to hit that wall. Do it again, kick it up. Use shoes if you need to. And then eventually, your body will start knowing how hard to kick up because the wall is in the way. So do it two more times. And eventually, you'll get up to handstand. Now we're gonna switch it up. So say you're not ready to kick up into a handstand. Say you just wanna gradually walk your feet up because you're not used to being on your hands. Well, that's perfectly fine. So here's where the wall comes into play again. So you're gonna drop your hands to the floor you're gonna start in downward dog. Go ahead and bring your heels close. And you're gonna slowly walk your feet up. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna start right here. And you're just gonna push up. You can bend your knees here, you can feel close. This is a great way of feeling the range of motion in the handstand. And it's a great way to feel how much pressure goes into your wrists. And again, coming down, feet down by the wall, heels against the wall. And again, this time, let's go a little higher. Maybe put knee to knee. Really own in on the feet, on the foot against the wall, and push up. So what you wanna do is really push that ball of the foot into the wall, push your hands down, and lift up. And what you're gonna do here, maybe go into pike. You're not all the way up into handstand, but now you understand how what it feels like to be upside down. And maybe walk your feet a little higher. And you're almost into handstand. And it's a great progression to learn how to come up. And to build your strength, walk your feet down instead of coming all the way down. And those are two ways to use a wall. So now you've mastered kicking up to handstand on the wall and you're ready to do it on the floor. So. Let's go back to that downward dog. Place those hands firmly onto the ground and make sure your fingers are wide. Kick up with one leg, your strong leg, bend that leg and kick all the way up to handstand. Pull your abs in, 
squeeze the glutes, push up through your shoulders, and come back down to downward dog. Coming into the second exercise, we're gonna start in downward dog again, and I want you to bend your knees and jump up into handstand. Look forward, plant those hands down, and jump. And you can float on down. 